Coach, uh, when you took over this job as the interim coach five years ago, did you ever think that we could be at this point? Well, you know, that was a goal. Yeah. You know, it's always a goal when you're a coach to get you, get your team here. So it's, um, you know, I've had a lot of help doing it. Yeah. Great staff, you know, great kids, great administration. So um, it's been a team effort. So yeah. we're, we're definitely glad to be here. Uh, in an interview we had earlier in the season, you you made that, you said that one of your goals was to end it at the state championship. It's, it's almost like you're a fortune teller almost in here. Uh, We're going to win then. I, yeah. hope I, am a, I hope I am a fortune teller. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys say about your team's effort this year? And just just the heart that they seem to have. Even when the team's been down, they've always bounced back. And, and it seems like they're never out of a football game. Yeah, it's, I think it's maturity level. You know, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, it's the only way I can explain it. You know, when you have that many seniors, in mm-hmm. a senior class, and they've invested as much as our senior class has, um, you know, it's contagious, you know, or it gets your underclassmen, you know, playing better earlier. Mm-hmm. And, um, and you know, I think it has to go back to that. You know, these these kids, they, they told us in January what they wanted. Mm-hmm. And they've, um, you know, they've worked to get, you know, get to this one game chance of, of having it. You know, it'll, it's going to take a great effort. But, you know, proud proud of them for setting a goal and doing all the little stuff to get there. And you now we'll see what happens. Well, I know we've talked about this before, but being a Bowling Springs grad, being at Bowling Springs as long as you have, what does it mean to you to be a coach that's led the team to this point? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's definitely, you know, it's been it's been fun. You know, you um, you, you I know I used to tell people I spent the first five years of my coaching trying to figure out a way to get somewhere else, yeah. and then I spent the last twenty five figuring out how to stay. So you know, it, um, you know, it's a great community. You know, um, when I look back on it, I'm proud of the fact that it's the only place I've been. So that's great too. Um, it'll definitely be something special if we yeah. can pull it off. Um. Do you think with the, the schedule, region schedule that you team play this year, the region three five A schedule, it's one the region schedule is always thought of the region two four A the strength. Do you think that's really played a lot in y'all being here today? Well, I think you got you know I think you got to play good teams to to become a yeah. good team. You know we've done that. You know even our non region schedule. You know we yeah. tried to we tried to schedule heavy there to to give our kids a chance to showcase mm-hmm. and show how good they could be and get better along the season. So you know there's no doubt you just got to be lucky enough to do that without getting without getting beat up. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, we've been we were fortunate enough to go through the, the region schedule without that happening yeah. to us. So so you know that's the main thing. If you can go through it, get better, and still stay healthy yeah. through it, it's main. Thing. All right, uh, quarterback Mason Streeter. Uh, how does it feel to lead the Bulldogs down here at the state championship? Um, it's a good feeling. You know, we got a good team. We're confident about what we're going to do Saturday. So we're hoping we can come down here and uh, get a win. Uh, couple, two years ago, uh, if I told you you'd be leading the Bulldogs to the state championship, might not have been the way you thought you'd got down here. Uh, yeah, I say. I mean, I came down here and we had a lot of group, a lot of talent in our group last year, and now a lot of us are seniors. So I feel like we're just, you know, a better team. So uh, we'll see what happens Saturday. Uh, what you, what you, uh, what you looking forward to Saturday against Dutch Fork? The team we, Bull Springs has seen a few times. Uh, yeah, we know we're gonna get a good team, and uh, we know they're gonna come with a good game plan and play hard. So we're gonna try to do the same thing. Hold on, I gotta take. A group okay, that's fine. Will Brown, wide receiver for the Bulldogs. Will, uh, how's it feel to be down here playing for state? Feels great. Um, we've been working our whole lives for this. Um, our JV year when we went, when we went eight and one. Um, we knew then that we had something special, and obviously, um, everybody's seeing that now. So, uh, what do you guys say about the, uh, the the performance of the seniors that y'all have this year? Um, we have 34 seniors on the team, and and it's. It's been a testament to our team and a testament to, to what we've done this year because we've had a real special year and we've had a lot of great leadership. So looking forward to what we can do in, in Willie B this, this Saturday. Uh, you looking forward to the big crowd the Bulldogs are going to bring down? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, this, is, this is something our community has been waiting on for a long time, and, and we're finally here, so, so let's roll. Donovan Asher, how's it feel to be uh, leading the Bulldogs down here at the state championship? Oh, man, it's a blessing, man. Uh, yeah. Defense has played a big role in that this year. What, what, what's been the key with the defense this year? Uh, um, we all just believe in each other, and we know that we can do it, and we just stick to it. Uh, North-South selection. Uh, missed out on that last week to win yeah. Upper State. Uh, you all right with that, though, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I'm all right, man. You know the ring, big prize. 